Thank you to Bitdefender for sponsoring a portion of this video. What's going on, people? I hope y'all are doing great. Today, I wanna to talk to you about the Galaxy Book 2 Pro and why you should consider buying this laptop instead of waiting for the Galaxy Book 3 Pro, which is set to be announced February 1st. Of course, I do suggest waiting for the announcement just in case they happen to surprise us with something. And I also suggest placing a reservation today. It doesn't cost you anything. And by doing this, you can save up to like a hundred bucks instantly just by signing up using the link in the description. You all already know that I did, mostly for the Galaxy S23, but I am pretty curious about these new laptops. One thing I'm not curious about is what it feels like to have a computer that's not protected from the latest threats and you shouldn't be either. When it comes to cybersecurity, let's put this in a perspective that we can all relate to. Let's say your home is like your computer because it stores all of your personal belongings and information. You wouldn't leave your doors wide open just so anybody can walk into your house. Just like you wouldn't leave your computer available just so anybody can walk over and start using it. You keep your doors shut and locked just like most people keep their computers private using passwords, pens, and biometrics. Unfortunately, homes have other vulnerabilities. For instance, these windows right here. Now let's say each one of these windows represents a vulnerability on your computer. So this window represents emails. And this window represents social media platforms and messaging. This window over here represents website links. And this window over here represents Wi-Fi. Of course, to protect yourself, you could make sure that all of these windows are locked or that you don't click on suspicious links. However, you can easily slip up and forget to lock one window or open that one email. Once inside, malware and cyber threats can lay dormant. You won't catch these on your own. And it's like having an intruder in your house that you can't see or hear, but every time you do something vulnerable, like lay your wallet on the table, the intruder is there to copy your info. Now, imagine going years with this threat living with you and how much information has been stolen. So how do you prevent someone from getting into your home other than basic precautions like locking your windows and doors? Well, you get a trustworthy and reliable security system with 24 seven monitoring. So if you think about your computer, just like your home, you need to get an industry standard antivirus software. That way it can protect your computer. And that's why I recommend Bitdefender Total Security. It's a class leading antivirus software that does more than just protect your computer. It actually improves the performance. Unlike other antivirus software, Bitdefender is extremely lightweight, so it doesn't take up a lot of space and it optimizes the performance of your PC based off your usage, whereas other software can potentially slow down tasks and ultimately leave your PC crawling. Thanks to Bitdefender's vulnerability scanner, it will make sure your PC doesn't have any weak areas. My favorite features include the built-in VPN, which has been updated for 2023, giving even better performance, online threat prevention that can scan websites, letting you know if they're harmful before you click on them, and all of the built-in utilities, such as the one-click optimizer that improves system performance with one click. Currently, you can pick up Bitdefender's total security with a huge discount just by clicking on the link in the description. Even if you're not in the market currently for antivirus software, clicking on the link in the description helps show support to the channel and is greatly appreciated. Plus, just because you're not interested in it now doesn't mean you won't be later, and these prices are excellent. Okay, so let's talk about both, the Book 3 Pro and the Book 2 Pro. The new model is going to come with a few upgrades that will improve performance, such as Intel Raptor Lake, possibly faster RAM, an updated design, and a few odds and ends. But let's be real, most of these improvements will probably be minimal for everyday use, and only a select few will be able to take advantage of them. Even so, based on the charts I've seen, I think most people will find the power of the Galaxy Book 2 Pro to be more than sufficient when looking at it compared to Raptor Lake, especially if you're looking at the model that I have here, which packs a 12th gen Intel Core i7 Evo certified processor, the Intel Arc A350M GPU, 32 gigabytes of RAM and one terabyte of storage. These specs may sound average on paper, but based off of my experience using the Book 2 Pro, the performance is stellar. Actually, this is my first reason for suggesting the Book 2 Pro over the 3 Pro. I understand that the newer model will be slightly better, but just take a look at these render times for video editing. You can see I ran multiple export tests using both DaVinci Resolve and Premiere Pro, and obviously anything higher than 4K is going to cause most thin and light laptops to choke, but for a laptop that's two and a half pounds, the results are not bad at all. 
Even the timeline performance is great, especially in Resolve. This is all thanks to the Intel Arc GPU that is specifically designed for content creation or CAD workflows. But it even has enough power for gaming. Granted, you're not going to get the same performance that you would get from a dedicated gaming laptop with a high-end NVIDIA or AMD GPU, but the experience isn't bad at all. Most of the time, I kept the settings around medium to high in order to achieve playable frame rates, but considering the display is capped at 60 hertz, anything higher than 60 FPS isn't going to matter that much anyways. That said, it is a 1080p OLED display that gets decently bright at 400 nits. It produces a great looking picture covering 120% of the DCI P3 space, plus the bezels are relatively slim. For day-to-day -day stuff, this version is obviously overpowered, but the Evo certification will come in clutch even for average users since it boots up and logs in ridiculously fast. If you're not planning on editing any video or photos and you really don't game that much, you can save yourself over 600 bucks by going with the i5 version, which has eight gigabytes of RAM and Intel Iris graphics. There's also a lower end i7 variant with 16 gigabytes of RAM and a 512 gigabyte SSD. But honestly, for my workflow, I would just opt for the higher end model. Sure, it's more expensive, but you're getting a much better laptop. And considering that the RAM is isn't upgradable, you might as well get as much RAM as possible at the time of purchase. Plus, this brings me to the next reason why I would grab this laptop over the Book 3 Pro, and that's pricing. So the Book 3 Pro is going to come in at either the same price or slightly above, but this means that the Book 2 Pro will get a price cut either directly on the Samsung website or through authorized retailers like Best Buy. In fact, during the Black Friday event at Best Buy, they had the Book 2 Pro listed for $500 off. Personally, I think the new price of the Book 2 Pro will be between the Black Friday discount and the current pricing. Not to mention, if Samsung does still sell the Book 2 Pro on their website, you'll be able to take advantage of all of their great trade-in offerings, just like the Book 3 Pro, for even more savings. For example, let's say the highest-end Book 3 Pro comes in at $1,900, but after discounts and trade-ins, you can grab it for around $1,200. You might be tempted to immediately hit that Buy Now button. I sure would. But let's consider the price drop of the Book 2 Pro and give it a new price of around $1,500 to $1,600. And after similar discounts and trade-ins applied, the price drops to around $750 to $850. To me, that's a no-brainer considering the potential performance differences between the two models. Of course, this is all hypothetical, but even if you were to grab a Book 2 Pro on the open box or used market, the savings will be huge, making the performance to dollar conversion much better. The Galaxy Book 3 Pro could offer full SD card support instead of micro SD card, but I wouldn't hold my breath. This is probably going to be reserved for the Ultra variant along with Windows Hello Face Unlock. So if we consider the port selection in IO to be the same as the current model, you're really not missing out on anything. Which brings me to reason number three, the design. So for IO, you'll get one HDMI, one USB Type-A port, one USB-C 3.2 Gen 1 port, and one silly, ridiculous micro SD card slot. And if that's not enough, you can expand your selection by using the Thunderbolt 4 port. Overall, I think the Galaxy Book 2 Pro is a great looking laptop that feels nice and has plenty of I.O. for most people. Coming from a 16 inch MacBook Pro, this laptop right here feels like a sheet of paper. It's so light. However, it doesn't feel cheap. The keyboard is fantastic and provides a nice tactile experience with around one millimeter of key travel. The best part is that it has a full size number pad, which is something I'm not used to on 15 inch laptops or 16 inch laptops like my current MacBook. Now I'm sure the newer model will have some minor design improvements, but I just don't see them being big enough to justify the extra cost, especially when the star of the show is going to be the Ultra. Also, the current model has an upgradable SSD. And while I don't think that Samsung will remove this from the Book 3 Pro, there is that possibility, and that's something else to consider. Lastly, if you're a Samsung Galaxy user, you'll find that the Book 2 Pro offers several exclusive features that help close the gap between your smartphone or tablet and your PC. This includes things like wirelessly transferring photos, videos, and files between your Galaxy mobile device and laptop, similar to AirDrop for Mac. In fact, a lot of Apple exclusive features are present on Samsung laptops, 
if you stay within the Galaxy ecosystem. Another example is the ability to respond to text messages right from your PC without the need of special software or workarounds. You can even browse your Galaxy device from your laptop and launch things such as mobile exclusive messaging apps. Samsung even includes a pretty dope screen recorder with their laptops that's better than most of the pre-installed or free offerings on other Windows laptops. Now, you might be wondering, how is this better than the Galaxy Book 3 Pro when it surely will have all of these features as well? And you're exactly right. The Galaxy Book 2 Pro should have all of the same software features as the newer model, and if something is missing, there's a 99% chance that it will be pushed out in a software update shortly after the Book 3 Pro starts shipping. So for less money, you're getting the same thing. You follow me now? I wouldn't blame you for buying the Galaxy Book 3 Pro over the model that I have right here. The latest and greatest is always a dope thing. And if you have the money, go for it. Who am I to tell you what to do with your money? All I'm saying is that if you want a great laptop that will likely get you 85% of what the newer model offers, then check out the Galaxy Book 2 Pro. It's a great laptop that I think you'll enjoy, especially if you're a Samsung smartphone user. Links to reserve the Galaxy Book 3 Pro and to purchase the Book 2 Pro can be found in the description. So I'm curious, are you going to grab the Galaxy Book 2 Pro, wait for the 3 Pro, or do you have your eyes set on the new Ultra model? Because that Ultra model is looking like a mighty fine laptop from the leaks that I've seen. Let me know in the comments and I'll see y'all in the next one.